follow along as I create this website using InterServer. I'll show you how to do everything step by step, utilizing additional free features that InterServer offers, like business emails, SSL certificates, and speed optimizations. I've used the two and a half dollar web hosting plan from InterServer for this tutorial. You can buy it for yourself with a discount by following this link in the description and using the code Emmet2023. 12 months will cost you only $27 and you even get a free website name included with the deal. Have everything ready? Awesome! Once you have your plan, this is how your control dashboard looks. And if I'd visit the website name that I registered, it shows under construction. So let's start constructing right away. Hey Ron. Hey Billy. The first thing you want to do is in the dashboard area, click on your website name then go into the Direct Admin panel. First, let's follow some good practices and upgrade our PHP version to the newest one. If you have several website names on InterServer, make sure that you're working on the correct one. Now, next to PHP version, select Change, upgrade to 8.1 or the newest version, depending on when you're watching this video. For me, it's 8.1 at the moment. Then click on the WordPress manager, click install and make sure the HTTPS version is selected. Choose the website name you want to use for this installation and leave the directory section completely empty. Name your website whatever you want. Remember, this information can be placeholder because you will be able to edit it later. Now create your login information that you'll use to manage your WordPress website. Finally, click on install and wait a bit for it to finish. You can click here to reach your WordPress control panel. However, as you can see, it currently shows that the website is not secure. We need to install an SSL certificate. So let's go into the control panel one more time and make sure we're on the correct side. Then navigate to SSL certificates. The easiest way to do this is the automatic installation. So make sure to click on get automatic certificate from ACME provider. Make sure all of these are checked and the HTTPS redirect is selected as well. Finally, click on save and the rest will get taken care of automatically. Let's revisit our page to see if it worked. And yep, it seems everything has taken effect. At this point, we could start designing our website, but I like to get some essentials like business emails out of the way first, so we could use those when registering for various services later. So back in your control panel, click on email accounts and create a new account. I'll use hello for my username, so I'll have the hello at is.emmetreviews.com email. I know it's not the prettiest one, but yours gonna be using your domain. And I'll make sure that no limits are added to this account because it's gonna be my main one. Actually, you can now log into this email box by using the login information seen here and navigate to the webmail round queue button inside your control panel. This works exactly like a regular email box. Think of Gmail. You can send and receive emails, except you're using your professional name instead of a standard Gmail one. You can create as many accounts as you want and all of them can have different login information. As an added bonus, I quickly want to show you an awesome trick to never lose any of your emails, even if your clients mess up. In the dashboard, there's an option called catch all emails. Make the catch all address and type in your main email. Now, if somebody messes up the first part of your email address, but uses the correct domain name, it will still appear in your box that you have selected in the catch all section. Pretty awesome. Now with all of these things out of the way, let's continue with our actual website design. So go into WordPress, hover over appearance and click on themes. If you're looking for a good free option, I recommend the Astra theme. Just click on install and activate. When that's finished, click on get started. Choose Elementor and select a free template from the list. 
Some of these have the premium tag near them. These ones are paid, but you can select any one of the free ones and they will stay free forever. So I've quickly gone through the setup steps here and everything else is done automatically. All of the demo content is actually loaded into my website, so it looks exactly like the template I've selected. Of course, just a simple template will probably not cut it. You still need to add your own content and you can edit any aspect of this website by clicking on the edit with Elementor button here at the top. This will load your website into editor mode, which will allow you to change the text, images, or position various elements in different ways. Of course, I won't go into detail on this tool because everyone has completely different needs for their websites. So it's really hard making a tutorial that fits everyone's taste. But if you don't want to spend too much time editing and fine-tuning your website, I can recommend a service that I use to get already made templates for most topics I need. For example, this restaurant themed one. I pretty much only need to change the text and images for this to suit my uh, restaurant business, if I have one. The service is called Invato Elements. It's a subscription service. You can get it for $14.50 a month, and it has a ton of pre-made websites, stock photos, videos, fonts, basically everything you need for an awesome website. For templates, navigate to WordPress, type in a keyword from your industry, and select Elementor and Themes. You'll get already made websites that you can actually preview before downloading. And after you do download them, they come with instructions on how to set everything up and how to edit every single aspect. I use this tool a lot. The downloads are completely unlimited and I'll actually leave a link in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. Anyways, no matter what type of website or template you have, is it free or is it paid? It still needs one thing, and that's optimizations for it to work as good as it can. So I'm going to show you how to do all of the optimizations completely free of charge. In your WordPress dashboard, hover over plugins and add new. Then search for Lightspeed Cache. It's the plugin we're going to use for all of our current and future optimizations. Install and activate it. Then you'll see the Lightspeed Cache option appear next to other options in your WordPress dashboard. Hover over it and click on General, then request domain key. You'll now need to wait around 20 to 30 seconds for the domain key to get issued, but just refresh the page manually and it's done when you see the domain key section filled in with these star symbols. Now go into Presets and select the Advanced option. What this does is it actually activates a good portion of Lightspeed optimizations automatically. But when you're messing with your website code, there's also a chance for it to break. So make sure to visit your website after this to see if everything looks good. Because as I mentioned, some of the optimizations can mess up your fonts, positions or overall style. If that happens, I'd recommend going back into Lightspeed Cache and choose the basic preset instead. Finally, go into Image Optimizations and click on Send Optimization Request. This will make sure all current and future images you upload to your website get automatically optimized to take up as little space as possible, allowing for faster loading speed because there are less elements to download for each individual user. At first, only one image will get optimized to test the connection, but don't worry, this gets auto-repeated every five minutes, so all images will be optimized in like, I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how heavy your website is. You'll know once it's done because you'll see this green check mark loaded in. Okay, finally, let's do a quick speed test using GT Metrics and the site loads in less than one second on a plan that's just two and a half dollars a month. So this is my usual setup for most new websites I create. Of course, then I dive deep into customizing the design, maybe installing different plugins for functionality that I need. But everything new I install or upload to my website is optimized automatically. 
giving me the ease of mind that I don't need to redo this every single time. Hopefully you'll create some awesome websites and let me know if you run into any issues in the comments down below and I'll help wherever I can. Of course, now that you have your website created, you still need to secure it. So follow this tutorial next and I'll show you every single free and clever way that I secure my websites.